Hey, what's going on with you guys? Thank you for tapping in with me again today. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Cleveland. So today we're setting up the 240 gallon aquarium. I don't know if you caught the last video, but if you haven't, stop this video right now and watch that one so you'll see how I constructed this stand right here. And um, yeah, so for everyone that have already seen that video, now what we're going to do is set up that 240 gallon. I purchased this window film right here to put on the back of the aquarium. So typically I'll paint the back, but again, sometimes that fails. So I've seen that you can use the window film. So I will try it for the first time and uh, you'll see whether or not it might work for you. Uh, so aside from putting the window film on there, we're gonna wash off the gravel that I bought from Lowe's. Got eight bags of uh, gravel, about 40 pound bags of gravel. Bought it for about $5 a piece. So I'm gonna rinse that out and, uh, and get started on this guy. But yeah, so stay tuned for the progress. Let's get started. Let's find open up a present, a wrap of present. So I'll also wipe down the inside with a water vinegar solution just to make sure it's free of all dust and things like that. Okay, this is a beauty. So it definitely needs to wipe down the inside. Can take a look at it? So you can see all that dust in there. I don't think they can see the dust, but it's it's dusty. Dusty, dusty. So first things first, clean out the inside, and then I put the window film on. it for the wipe down. Now it's time to get this film on there. And I purchased this window film application kit. Hopefully uh, it'll make it easier. Comes with the spray, the little squeegee, and the razor. So Hopefully, it'll look good. I'm really concerned about seeing the line, but I think, uh, I think we'll be fine. So the first thing you say to do is wet it. So the, the trick to this is having enough solution on your window or the glass. If you don't have enough, you're gonna basically be fighting against this window film. So make sure you, you do it like that. And we are good. Good job, babe. sense too. More strips and more sense. Let's see how it's going to look. So, as long as we 
you're able to Yeah, I think that's gonna work. <laughs> I think that's gonna work. How's the way? Let me uh let me ask my babe how this is gonna look. I think it looks once good. Once I, I make that cut right there. I already see it. What you think? Yep, there's a little strip that you could see, but that's what I was concerned about because now it was gonna basically be one strip, but now it's gonna be two. It's gonna be that one right there. And this other one I plan on making, but it's towards the back, so it's fine. Yeah, I think it's fine too. Oh. Have to make it work. Yeah, and then I get this I'll save a little bit. Looking good, baby. There it is. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, I just got the one strip. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with that. That's not a problem at all. So this is going to be the challenge, but I'm going to do it a little bit of the same way as I did when I got it over that, uh, that gate right there. So let me just show you how I do it. Harley, back up. Dolly is going to be my assistant here. That's a terrible lip. Come here. Come here. Good girl. So what I plan on doing is I'm going to lift up one side, make sure the dolly is positioned closer towards the end, and then basically going to hold it up for me a little bit. You'll see. Do you need my help at all, babe? No. Okay. You got this. I got this. Harley is trying to help. I see. Harley, get back. Get back, mamas. So... Watch your back. There you go. Okay, so now the issue. The damn thing needs to be moved down. And put pushed over, huh? Yep. Okay.
Nimi. You did it! Wow. You did it! Whoop, whoop, whoop. Babe, I'm gonna stop her real quick. All right, so. So we got it up here. It was a struggle to say the least. These heavy glass aquariums, but it's on there. Now it's time to rinse that gravel, decorate it, put everything on there, put the fish in there. It don't stop till it's done. Let's get it. What a happy moment. You did it. Yeah, there we go. That's extra. So, as you can see from the water on the floor, it has like an orange tint to it, so it's filthy. Um, but it looks, it looks good. That's the white ones in there. They look good. All right, as you can see, we have uh, the first few gallons of water being added into this tank. This is basically just a water test to make sure that it's gonna hold and there's no cracks. I am not filling it up all the way. I won't even fill it up halfway. Just enough to where I'm comfortable that there's no cracks anywhere along the bottom of it. So as this is going on, I'm still cleaning, cleaning off all of the, uh, the river pebbles that I have but one bag is definitely more than I thought it was gonna be. So I probably will only need possibly two bags, which is good because these rocks are filthy. But um, between the eight that I bought, I think in total, I probably wind up needing about three, two for this tank and one for another tank. Hopefully I'm right, cause it's very time consuming rinsing off all the dirt from these uh, river stones. But anyway, just wanted to show you guys a little update and um, and show you the first few gallons of water being added into this bad boy. And even if I didn't put the river stones in here, it would look amazing because of the way the bottom of this um, tank looks burnt. Well, the top of the stand looks burnt. That looks absolutely stunning. But I will go ahead and use the river pebbles because it's more natural. So let's keep at it. So far, I put in one bag of these river pebbles. And like I said, it's about halfway, uh, halfway complete. So yeah, two bags will work. One bag for the 125 gallon. And it looks like I'm gonna be taking back about five bags. So I'll get some money back. So what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm filling it up and I'm siphoning out all the dirty water because I don't want to start this off with dirty water due to the river pebbles. So let me, that's about it. So now I'll do a better job with moving around that water. All right, guys, so um, let me just give you an update of where we are with things. So I'm currently siphoning out this water so I can add all of this water to the 240. I got the 240 about halfway full. 
so the rest of the water is going to come from here. So I'm doing that. I already put the FX6 on there. That one is going. I'm going to do the uh, FX4 last as well as the butter tank sump. But just wanted to give you guys an update on how things are going. I cannot wait to get this done. As you see, it's dark out, so it's been a long day, but um, we're getting it done. So keep watching. So I'm not going to wait. I'm about to go ahead and start getting this to corn there. I'm going to speed this up. Alright, so it's a good thing. It's a good thing I have this rug doctor handy. Otherwise, I don't know what I would have done. But I would obviously use a whole bunch of towels. But this definitely made that job a lot easier than what it could have been. Obviously the floor is still wet, so I will definitely have to run fans on the carpet for the next couple of days. But for the most part. We basically uh, sidestepped that little mini disaster. So, I was trying to rush. We had a nice little 30 minute detour. But let's continue on. We have a mission to complete. place over there. Thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. So all that's left is taking out the fish, the rest of the water, removing this FX4, bring it over there, as well as that heater and the air stones, light. Anyway, we're about 20 minutes left. Should be should be doing real soon now. This was all day guys.
How do you like your new home? Oscar. Wrong way. You guys should not be fighting for space. All right. All right, we're so. There you go. You got plenty of room, but. All right. Buddy, why do you think you want to go in the net? No, you are not, buddy. You are not going in yet. You are too aggressive. You gotta wait. Okay. Yeah, the cover too good. There we go. water into this tank, get the aerators on there, get that FH6 going, and that's going to be a wrap for today, guys. Like I said, it's been a long day. It's, uh, it's going on 10 o'clock right now. I probably started at like, what, 11? How would you say I started that big? I believe it was uh, 11.40. All right, guys, so that about wraps it up for this video. We got the 240-gallon setup. We got it on this beautiful, amazing stand. Tank look amazing. Fish have plenty of room. A Little bit of aggression because of this guy right here, but I'm hoping that it subsides by the morning. If not, I'll deal with it accordingly. 
But um, I hope that I was able to give you guys some tips on how to do a stand for yourself next time you, uh, you decide to do one, if you decide to do one. But anyway, follow me on Facebook at The Fish Corner. Follow me on Instagram at The Fish Corner. Join my Facebook group, Fishaholics. Contest is over in a few days, but um, we have many more to come. Anyway, catch you guys next time. Thank you guys for tuning in, and see you later. Peace.